Hi friends, welcome to POFO WordPress theme. In this video we will show how to use Portfolio Slider shortcode in WP Bakery Page Builder and explain about different helpful settings and different styles of Portfolio Slider shortcode. Portfolio Slider is the best and creative option to create portfolio specific website homepage where you can showcase your recent beautiful works in creative style to make your hero section main entry point of your website. So first of all log into WordPress admin backend then create a new page or edit your existing page. Now you can see add element with plus icon. Click on row shortcode. Row shortcode is added to your page. Inside row, column is automatically added. Click on plus icon and click on POFO tab. Click on Portfolio Slider Element. You can see Portfolio Slider settings and pop up here. Bofo provides six different creative Portfolio Slider styles. Let me go with Portfolio Slider Style 1. This is how it looks with post featured image, title, subtitle and call to action button. Here you can select your desired categories from which you want to display post in this Portfolio Slider. So let me select one category. You can set posts order by date, id, author etc. Let me select date. Let me select posts sort by descending order. You can set number of posts to display in slider here. You can switch on off pagination area. Select pagination style, line style. Select pagination color style, light style. You can switch on off navigation area. Under style tab. You can manage different styling colors as per selected portfolio slider style. You can manage button background color, text color, hover text color and border color. Go to slider configurations tab, here you can manage transition speed of slider like 1000 means 1 second. You can switch on off autoplay slider and enter your desired delay time. 3000 means 3 seconds. You can switch on off auto looping. Typography tab, here you can manage typography of title and subtitle. You can manage font size, line height, letter spacing, font weight, set element tag h1, h2, etc. Italic font on off, change font color, font underline on off, switch on off auto responsive font size. Go to extra tab. In case if you want to customize this short code deeply then you can insert unique element ID for portfolio slider element, you can insert custom CSS class name here and then write custom CSS code using element ID and class name. You can add custom CSS code in appearance customize panel or you can add custom CSS code in child theme style file also. Let me save changes and let's check preview. Awesome. You can see portfolio slider with selected categories posts here. We have selected 5 posts to display but there are only 3 posts in selected category so it is showing only 3 posts here. Now let me go back to general tab again and select portfolio slider style 2. This is style 2 and you can see how it looks like. Let me select different category here for example. You can switch on off scroll navigation area, which is showing here. Under Style tab, you can manage different color settings of scroll navigation. Save changes and let's check preview. Actually it is full screen slider so it is not visible here so let me change column shortcode property. Switch on full screen class here. In row shortcode settings. Select stretch row and content with no padding to make it full width row and go to design options tab and set zero paddings. Let me also switch off page title using POFO page settings. Let's check preview. Awesome, you can see selected portfolio slider style here. You can use this scroll navigation or you can scroll using mouse also. Now let me go back to general tab again and select slider style 3. So in this style, you can enter your desired content for first slide. Let me enter content here. Let me select different category for example. Save changes and let's check preview. Awesome, 
This is how Style 3 looks. You can manage color of title and subtitle colors under Typography tab. Let me select red color for title and green color for subtitle. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see our selected colors here. Now let me go back to general tab again and select portfolio slider style 4. This is style 4 and you can see how it looks like. This is vertical scroll slider. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see vertical scroll slider here. It will work with mouse scroll also or you can use this navigation to see other slides. Now let me go back to general tab again and select portfolio slider style 5. This is style 5 and you can see how it looks like. Save changes and let's check preview. Great, you can see style 5 here. Now let me go back to general tab again and select portfolio slider style 6. This is style 6 and you can see how it looks like. Save changes and let's check preview. Great, you can see style 6 here. I hope this video has been helpful. Any more question about same or theme you can contact via our support. Thank you for watching.